Damn it, it was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives? That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I, too, will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The right of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance.
Thanks. Well, hello, Professor. You came all the way to my room to... Oh. You've brought the materials from your lecture I slept through. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's not that I want to miss lectures. Exactly. Drowsiness is my arch nemesis. For some reason, I just can't seem to win against it. <sighs> Just talking about it makes me sleepy. That sounds more than a little exhausting. I think I'll stay in. I must compliment you, though. By this point in most conversations, I'm bored senseless. But I'm enjoying this. I wonder why. What is it about you that fascinates me so? You're definitely a strange one. In truth, your very nature is odd. You're definitely not a commoner, but you don't seem like a noble either. You're something else. Or you could be a villain who came here to enact some evil plot. That wouldn't surprise me either. Hey, Professor, will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours? It won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. Of course, I'm not as experienced with such research as Professor Hanneman, but I do what I can. Someday, I think I might like to become a crest scholar. You never know. Oh, don't trouble yourself. I didn't mean now. I've got a lot of other research I'm working on at the moment. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. I might be ready to investigate your crest soon. I'd have to tidy up a bit first. On that note, <sighs> good night, Professor. <laughs> Our mission this month is to patrol and set up defenses to stop the assassination plot. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if an assassination attempt is truly the goal of our enemy. Yes, I think so too. A barely concealed secret message trying to distract us from whatever's really going on. Sloppy to say the least. And while everyone is out searching for a phantom assassin, they'll be free to accomplish their true goal with ease. The monastery houses many valuable weapons. Perhaps that is their aim? I hear the monastery has a treasure vault, too. Seems like the sort of place a foe would like some alone time in. Garrig Mach is immense. And not just above ground, but below as well. Perhaps their aim lies beneath the monastery. It seems to me that we should search the monastery for a clue as to what the enemy might be after. Of course, we must never underestimate the need for preparedness, in case a battle should ensue. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and this young man is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Hmm. She is certainly talented. No doubt about that. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? 
I am quite talented too, am I not? Be honest, do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. Evenly matched? Me? With her? I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go! Two at once? That's... well... It will be fine. I can't do it. It seems you have saved my life. I... Thank you, Professor. I've passed, have I?
You'll get your money's worth. A new path to tread. I passed?
You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyre. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... ...was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me! The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. Training again. You're certainly working hard, Kaspar. <sighs> oh, Edelgard! You scared me, you should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill-advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Burglies, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens. But the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Kaspar? Hey, now come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? I'll never understand her. Petra, you seem to be flourishing in your new environment. Is all going well for you? Lady Edelgard, everything is well with me. Thank you for your question. Everyone shows great kindness, even while I am still learning about the language. I'm glad to hear it. After all, a Bridget Royal like yourself is of vital importance to the future of the Empire. If you ever need anything, please let me know. It's my job to watch out for you, after all. If that is your want, I will rely on you if I have the need. However, I will not have that need. I can resolve any problems that occur by myself. I don't doubt it. 
Perhaps I'm worrying too much. I just don't know what I would say to your family if something were to happen to you. Do not spend your worry on me. In Bridget, there is a phrase we say. You cannot shoot two birds with one arrow. Bridget and I are that second bird. Your first target is... your ambition. Can you disagree? There is certainly truth in your words. I do have ambitions that transcend all else for me. When I ascend the throne, there are certain things I must do. Tell me, Petra, who do you think I am? Huh? I will tell you. I am Edelgard von Hressfeld, and yes, I'm attempting to do what no one else can. I'm prepared to shoot two birds, or even three, with a single arrow. That is the least of the impossible things I will accomplish. If you don't need my patronage, then prove it. Show me your power. Never settle for being the bird. Be the arrow instead. I will take your words to my heart, and you will be seeing my power. I give you my promise. <laughs> today so uh it's uh really nice weather we're having isn't it indeed did you want something i just uh i'm really sorry i can't accept your apology until i know what it's for oh good point i'm sorry i said you were terrifying is that all i'm used to that no apology necessary You've been avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with that? Um, it's not working. And yes, there is. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> yeah! Why? You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? Yes. I mean, someday it might. Maybe. goes there. Perfect! Oh, hey, Bernadetta. What's going on? Ah, enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Help? I'm the one who came here for help. I guess I'll just take care of it myself. I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! I've never fought anyone in all my life! I surrender! You win! Uh, all right. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure you'd make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Oh, sure, yeah! Why didn't I think of that? Or maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. I think it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. gonna carry you out of here. Easy does it. And here we are. See? It wasn't so bad, now was it? 
And what about this view? Gorgeous, right? So this is what death is like. Didn't expect it to be so sudden. Come and claim me, sweet death. But first, let this evening sun wash clean my imperfect soul. Hey, now don't go dying on me, Bernadetta. It's just the sun. Huh? W what? Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. Such a lovely view. A hero's relic. However could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. What? Good deal. Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Hey, how about a favor? So, greetings, Perfect. The goddess's right of rebel. I'll be working as a guide. The goddess's right of rebirth is the most sick. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot near... It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady Ray... It's a shame I am not in your class, but I suppose...
It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrett Mox 900. So many beautiful plants. I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book. But I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable. And the knight's horses. They are truly... Please, do me a favor. How could you po- Been in town procuring some supplies for flame. Nothing out of the ordinary. Do not trouble yourself. Of I have something to ask of you. for something I probably can't help you I still don't know what's where around here hey I get hungry sometimes like anyone else what eating at night is bad for you <laughs> there's no way that's true wait really <laughs>
Did you know that on the last day of the rite, the monastery's open to the general pub? It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a... No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do- I feel like security would be loose. Is there some reason why it has to happen on- of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation, and yet... Ah, uh, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. Catherine, I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. What the? I hear you have had you the that glow. it out, Professor. The enemy must be targeting Lady... They're gonna make it seem like they're going after something else, but then they're gonna... Impressive, right? I'm telling you. My... Hey, I got a favor to ask. It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly... Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. could be coincidental. Oh, you want me to join your club? I'm already having so much... Professor. In Bridget, assassinations are many. I have also been the targeted, back in the past. The Goddess Tower has an entrance of narrowness. That is most good. The windows are not the most good, though. A target of ease for snipers. Professor! Really? Speaking... Can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. That easy to get under your skin, is it? Can you and I prefer not. Ooh, 
medicine. The goddess's home is in the sky. She put in the sp That's why we also. That's the day of the. That reminds me. People seem to think that all the knights of Seros are equal. But that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the order. For example, there are squires who are. Oh. And then we have the holy knight. Maybe. <clears throat> Professor. Possible. I have a thought. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place. In general, students aren't allowed. But as you'd expect, that well. At least for this month, we have a lot more security. What with the gun? <laughs> have you visited the in general? Stop as you'd expect. Well, and we have a lot more. Childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the goddess's rite of rebirth. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. You're kidding. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Oh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Huh? You're- I'm really flattered, honestly. Hello there! May I sit? The whole monastery preparing for the goddess's rite of rebirth this month? It feels like everyone's a little on edge. Ah, Professor! What an. I'd like to learn more. Well, about 20 or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garrig on that day. Captain Geralt went missing. It never occurred to me that he might actually have survived. The truly strange part is that in all those years... Here's a thought.
missing. That reminds me. Speaking of. Hey! I need a favor, yes? I bet the enemy is using this assassination. What do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right, all right. My animal. Good to see. You. I was just on my way to trade. Professor, people die in every battle. And it can be by sword, or spear, or magic, but... But depending on who it is that died, depending on who died, it's different. I hope nothing bad happens this month. Target. What could it be? The monastery has been around for nearly a millennium. It's only logical that there are secrets here. We'd better investigate. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. I have a favor to ask. We need more information. Is there anyone else you could talk to? declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, given the circumstances. Last. There's been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life. We've been ordered to help the Knights patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone? to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inc- With everyone stuck on guard duty, our- 
Yes, I'm actually very busy right now. It seems that I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I suppose that may be true. Oh, Professor, excuse me. Thinking. Have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that even the Church of Saros had. The Church awarded him a in return in the 400 years set. Hey! That's so. Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing. This reminds me. Have you heard? Rumor has it that Death himself has been appearing in Garag Mach. They say he appears every night and kidnaps folks. Huh? You think I would be a good... F mm, I'm not... So sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got an interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crest. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. the matter even so the knights have the goddesses right of reap they say it's the day when the god not too likely if you ask me. The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the church. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot? Okay. Hey. Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Bodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. Hi, Prof. I've actually got plenty.
Hello there. Well done. You have my thanks. assists the Archbishop. Cyril, I believe? I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almyra. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. Best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? I am quite all right, but your cons... This is... This is... Yes, that is surely mine. I appreciate you bringing this to me.
see you. Professor. Hey, did you hear? If he's a villain, I'd like to get the measure of him. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together. I know I'm in a different class. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Renato's rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest of the Boar Prince is... Join me for some training sometime. I might let... Defeat was inevitable. I'm glad I asked you.
I could count on you. Hmm. There's a place on the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a distinct possibility that the Holy Mausoleum is our enemy's target. Excuse me. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. Please don't let her down, okay? I hope you're not just saying that. I don't know who this... I don't know who this... The goddess's right of rebirth. Could it be that someone... How kind of you. I will have to repay you sometime.
this is they won't notice if we Professor. Uh. Huh? Things we can't obtain here. Are you... You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here... It's not mine. It's not... It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not... It's not mine. It's not my It's not my It's not my It's not mine It's not my I was thinking. What? That's so. Uh... 